I, I think that he was in a, a very difficult position as, as someone who was Egypt's first democratically elected president. He was a, a bastion for all of those who thought that uh, that, uh, that Islam could have a political face. The Muslim Brotherhood was the first democratically poli uh, elected political party in Egypt. And so he was heralded by many as, as something of, of, of a source of hope, I guess. But because of his affiliation with the Muslim Brotherhood, because of the group's long and, and somewhat controversial presence within Egyptian politics, because of the group's politics across the Middle East, he was viewed with a great deal of trepidation and concern by many in the West who were concerned about his Islamist policy uh, politics, but also by by Saudi Arabia, by Israel, and and by others in the Gulf who were really concerned about the Muslim Brotherhood's politics across the Middle East broadly. So there was a great deal of concern, and this concern, I think, led to his his ostracization and marginalization, I guess, from international news outlets in the years following the the coup in 2014.